last video we have seen the salient features of subphylum cephalocordata in this video we will look into the examples for subphylum cephalocordata this is called amphioxus or simply called uh, branchiostoma amphi means what both 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 end oxus means what point so both end pointed both anterior and posterior end is pointed branchiostoma means what branchio means gills and stoma means mouth so there is a gills near the mouth so it's called branchiostoma amphioxus is commonly known as lancelet now where you see the amphioxus amphioxus is seen in the sandy beaches of mediterranean sea indian ocean british sea etc and mostly seen in the burrow with its anterior end pointing out. Now, what are the morphology? Amphioxus is a small, transparent, superficially fish like animal with a laterally compressed body pointing at both ends and look like a fish, but it differs from a fish in the absence of head, jaws, paired fins, scales, etc. Paired fins are axis, but there is fins present along the dorsal line so this is a dorsal line you can see a fin dorsal fin when it moves around the uh, tail region it is called the caudal fin it becomes a caudal fin and then it forms a ventral, a short ventral fin which ends in where the atriopore starts so this is the opening of atriopore where it ends so just behind the atriopore there is a, uh, another opening called the anus near the anterior teeth of the body on the left dorsal side there is a small pit called cherir kurigana which is called olfactory pit or simply called a colicus pit colicus pit helps in sensory perception so below the pointed end this is a pointed end below the pointed end here so this is much more clear view this is the anterior pointed end so there is a funnel shaped cavity you can see the funnel shaped cavity so this one is the funnel shaped cavity this is called vestibule or stomodium it is surrounded by this is this is surrounded by a frill like membrane called oral hood so this is surrounded by a membrane called oral hood that is uh, this is the oral hood this is oral hood so this picture is this is an enlarged picture the edges of the oral hood are surrounded by a series of ciliated tentacular process called oral cirri. So this is oral cirri which helps in the movement of water. Oral cirri also known as buccal cirri. So in the center there will be a mouth. So in the center oral hood, so this there is a mouth here, the opening into the the inner side of the oral hood this is or here so the inner side of the oral hood is projected into a ridges and grooves and this is called the wheel organ wheel means what chakra wheel organ and it produce this movement produces a water current the wheel organ also known as organ of Muller organ of Muller the movement of its cilia create a whirling current of water current during feeding. So because of its movement, it creates a water current. <coughs> On the bottom of the vestibule, so this one is the bottom of the vestibule. That means here, bottom of the vestibule is a circular sphincter muscle, circular sphincter called a vellum. So this is called the vellum. In its center, there is a small aperture is opening into the pharynx. That opening is called enterostome. There will be an opening right here. So this is called enterostome. The enterostome is surrounded by a series of ciliated tentacular process. You can see the tentacular process here. Tentacular process called a velar tentacles. So that's a this is the velar tentacles, velar tentacles, like this. Velar tentacles running along the roof of the vestibule. 
like roof of the vestibule there is a glandular mucus mucus secreting groove called hasic grooves or hasic pit so this is the external morphology of 